Drink. I have to be apartments. Especially since I don't remember which ones are locked or not. Because the vast majority of these rooms are locked. No keys. Save room. Might as well. Alright. I believe I need a key to go in here. Also, if it looks a little dark, I don't have the flashlight yet. I get it here. says lock that means you get to open it eventually if it says it's rusted shut or what or lock is broken or whatever it means that you can never get inside of there unless it switches over to other Silent Hill where the map just resets okay this room okay yeah there's nothing in here yet sup Broken. Lock's broken. Broken. Oh, I can go in here, though. Oh, yeah, this room. There's nothing to do in here right now. is a puzzle right here that I can at least take note of. Oh, right, I need I need a flashlight. Oh, I can't even read that <laughs> until I get that. Okay, so basically I can't do much of anything until I get that flashlight. And I'm really hoping enemies don't respawn on normal mode. Sometimes they do that. <sighs> it's probably that one that I killed a bit ago. Nope. It's a different one. I'm gonna be going through this hallway fairly often, so it's best just to get rid of them now. This is where the flashlight is. Also, thing you'll notice that's actually the outfit that Mary wears. And we have no reason to stay in here, so let's not bother with that thing. Yep, there's nothing else in here. I'm not gonna bother with those annoying little things. Okay, if I remember correctly, circle turns it back off. Okay. This is just so the enemies don't know where I am. Oh, there's another one. Yep, there's another one at the end of this hallway. Probably not attacking because it has more than where I am. Oh, okay. Just stomp. Okay, guess I can't stomp it. Anything in here? Oh, yeah. Bullets. Ah! Fuck you! Oh, 
a little shaking a little bit. I'm guessing that's probably a health indicator thing. Uh, start. Oh, oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, yeah. God, I didn't think I took that much damage. I got hit a couple of times. What are you looking at, James? Hey. No, don't get stuck. Get going through there. Good, good. Okay, jammed. Broken. Okay. Oh, so they could hear that, so it's coming right for me, isn't it? Don't trade the map. Of course it is. I'm just going to need to ignore that thing right now, because it's a jerk. Let's see. I believe I have to go up. I think I have to go upstairs. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything on this floor right now. I mean, there's nothing in this hallway, but the music just is really unsettling and creepy. It just makes me feel uncomfortable just being in here. Got the handgun. As you can see, a bunch of bullet casings all over the floor in here. Because. Let's see, if I remember correctly, there's nothing else in here. I think I just need the uh, gun just to trigger the next thing. Yeah, there's yeah, there's bullet holes all over the damn walls. So I believe you need the gun and the flashlight in order to actually trigger the next part. Well, I think you need the flashlight anywhere even to go up here, probably. I know you need it to see the key. But now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever tried getting that key without actually triggering that scene. standing there menacingly at this point in time. If you're off of him, he's just glowing red. It's kind of creepy. in here I can grab this key to 202. Okay. There's nothing else I can do in here right now. 
Because I think the enemy... Yeah, Beer My Head's gone now. I think the enemy's probably respawned in here. Because they all go away when he shows up. See, 202's probably... Keep forgetting. 202 is over that way, yep. Just want to make sure. I ran right past it, didn't I? Yep. Can't unlock it unless you can actually see the keyhole. I have the butterfly room. Alright, body dead butterflies on the ground. There's nothing else of interest. Yeah, this sound effect just. Another one of those things that just makes me feel uncomfortable. It's hard to tell for sure, but I think there's something on the other side of the hole. Got the key to the clock, so now we can actually make progress. Also, I feel like that sound gets louder and louder. I don't know if I can do anything else in here. No. Ah. Everything else is blocked off. Okay. Dealing with you. All right. Okay. Henry Mildred Scott. Very simple. Minute, you know, hour, minute, second. That's part of the solution. Just checking real fast. It'd be nine ten. It's about nine oh five or so, I believe. I don't know if the solution's still the same. Scars of the past shall remove the nail that stops time. Okay, well, okay. I did not mean to actually do that, because you can't push it yet. <laughs> There isn't some big riddle for this. Oh. Oops. Guess I have to manually use the key. Alright. Puzzle simple. Oop, oh, this way. It'll make a sound when you actually get to the right thing, so it's not like it's actually important. Plus, the second key's already stuck. And done. That puzzle doesn't change in any difficulty at all. Save room. And he's looking at something. Oh, health. Yay. Health is always good. Alright, and we are at the end of those bars on the other end.
think I can do anything upstairs. There's some bullets. Oh wait, no, of course I can do something upstairs. That's where the damn key was. You know... I have a handgun now, so... So this was that room. Alright then, there's a key in here, for the courtyard, I don't think there's anything else in this room, also I thought this room was downstairs which is why it startled me, <laughs> I just had, uh, you know, it looks like a landscape of this area, yeah, I was trying to have my gun at the ready in case there was an enemy that just pops up, and he's not going to comment on how he was raping them, whatever. I had my gun at the ready like that. So I wasn't expecting an actual cutscene. I am going the right way, right? Okay. Okay, that's gone. It's coming from over here. There's one on each side, I can hear them. Come on. I can hear you guys. Camera, please. Switch behind me so I can get a better view. That one's done. Okay, good, good. And we got our key finally. Fire escape key. bullets. Yay. Uh, just normal washing machine, nothing of interest. Okay. Oh, I can go in here. Oh, monsters. James, where are they? I can't get a good camera view. I didn't want to be in here. Okay, well, there's a full stage thing in there. And bullets over there, so yeah. Come on, I can hear you in there. Oh, that's it? Okay, there's nothing else. 
Oh, uh, one of the mannequins could be in here. They don't make noise until they start moving. Let's reload real fast. Yeah, I got, I got more than enough ammo. I don't need to be stingy with it. Oh, fuck you! Right, get back here, jerk. Stop spooking me. God. I mean, it's not like I'm coming back up here ever again. Okay. Yep. We're done with this spot. We never had to come back up to this floor ever again. So yeah, it's blocked off. Canned juice. Go that way. Hey, right. this door is unlocked. Back outside again. Oh, that's the sec that's the other building. There's two apartment buildings right next to each other, or two entrances, anyways. And we need to go back to this one. All right, so we can go out to the courtyard too, but I'm gonna go upstairs first. Of our last little bit of business up here. Ignore that thing. Okay. Oops. Okay. Alright, try to shoot. So kind of strange garbage stuck in the hole. How do we deal with that? I was wondering if they were on separate things. We put the six pack of canned juice and just drop it right in there. And the trash has gone through. And now we have to go back outside. So glad I'm not playing on hard mode. James will occasionally trip and get sick run right into the walls and had to push up, push himself from being slamming himself face first into the wall which can be kind of a pain in the ass when you're running away from things all right all right we got the old man key coin all right the police announced today that Walter Sullivan, who who was arrested on the 18th of this month for the brutal murder of Billy Locaine and his sister Miriam, committed suicide in his jail cell early, early on the morning of the 22nd. According to the police statement, Sullivan used a soup spoon to stab himself in the neck, severing his carotid artery. By the time the guard discovered him, Sullivan was dead from blood loss, and the spoon the spoon buried two inches into his neck. An old schoolmate of Walter Sullivan's from his hometown of Pleasant River said he didn't look like the type of guy who would kill kids. But I do remember that just before they arrested him, he was blurting out all sorts of strange stuff like, He's trying to kill me. He's trying to punish me. The monster. The red devil. Forgive me. I did it, but it wasn't me. The schoolmate then added, I guess now that I think of it, he was kind of crazy. Anyways, we'll find out more about Walter Sullivan when I get over to Silent Hill 4, since he's kind of important in that game. All 
Right, and we got that one key, so we can just open up the courtyard. First things first. Down in here. I fell down. Whatever. Ignore them. Oh no! Got the snake, snake coin. Screw you guys! Alright then. I don't remember what all I can do in this courtyard. Okay, not much. I don't know if there's any ammo or anything down here. I mostly have to go over here. For more apartments. And... when I got here. <coughs> my, uh, my name's James. James Sunderland. Um, Eddie. Eddie. Uh, Who's that dead guy in the kitchen? I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill anybody. You're not friends with that red <laughs> pyramid thing. Red pyramid thing? I don't know what you're talking about. Honest. But I did see some weird looking monsters. They scared the hell out of me, so I ran in here. <laughs> well, I guess this place isn't too safe either. What happened here anyway? Uh, I, I told you, I don't know. I'm not even from this town. I just, I just... <sighs> You too, huh? Something just brought you here, right? Uh, um, yeah, you could say that. Well, whatever it is, I think you better get out of here soon. Yeah, you're right. What about you? I'll leave as soon as I'm done here. Eddie, be careful. James, I, I, um, you be careful, too. <laughs> Alright. I'm pretty sure I have to go back in there, because I think there's a key or something that I actually need in the room where Eddie is. Eddie, are you okay? Yeah. I guess. I just ignore him. I just wonder there's something I need. Oh, whoops. Whoops. Oh, door. It was the other side. Ah, the side, I believe. I want to cover on football posters and meaningless graffiti. Oh, I could care less about either. Trying to see if I can actually read what that stuff says. Oh, okay. Oh, I could have sworn there's a like, key or something that I actually needed in there. Okay, maybe not. Yeah. 
dead guy. Okay, I could have sworn there's like a key or something I actually need from this place in order to move on, but maybe I'm wrong. I know you're required to visit to see Eddie in order to actually continue the story, in order to put some kind of flag for other things to happen. Actually, let me has to be. I don't have another key, so I guess. Oh, I probably just go up the stairs. Duh. Whatever. I don't know if any other doors in this hallway are good. Can I come from this way? No. I know I can't go through here. Yeah, well, that's not good. Yeah. Wait, wait, what did that say? Hell? Oh, to hell. Okay. It's very rare that I can actually read something that. Oh, to hell. Okay, it says it on there too. Alright. It's locked off. Okay, I can go in here. And there's thingies in here. And I think I need to be able to get that camera behind me. Thank you. No! Ah! Annoying. I might need to heal myself for a little bit. Thank you. It's kind of hard to tell how your health looks in this game because of the th things. Because of how it looks. Welcome to Silent Hill. Silent Hill, a quiet little lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. Take some time out of your busy schedules and enjoy a nice restful vacation here. Row after row of quaint old houses, a gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows the different sides of beauty with the passing of the day, from sunrise to late afternoon to sunset. Silent Hill will move you and fill you with a, deep, with a feeling of deep peace. I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever. Editor Roger Widmark. Anyways. Ooh, bullets. I should probably reload my gun. Okay, I got two of the keys. You need three uh, uh, keys, coins. You need three of them for a puzzle that happens soonish. In order to actually finish up this area. It doesn't look like there's anything else in here. We will. 